Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about setting up how an application for Azure Kubernetes service. Kubernetes is a very popular tool that you can use for microservices architecture, and you can deploy your web applications or other applications that do backend processing on the cluster. It has gained traction since it became open source. And there are a lot of videos out there that go into the nitty gritties of Kubernetes, the architecture, the components. I wouldn't go into that as part of this particular module. What I'll go into is how you can easily set up Azure Kubernetes service. And I'll be using command line instead of the portal, because again, there are a few videos already existing that use the portal. So I wouldn't do that. And I'll show you how you could set it up. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, share our channel, and drop in a comment if any questions you run into. Let's get started. In this tutorial, we'll prepare a multi-container application that we can use in Kubernetes. We will use existing tools, development tools like Docker Compose to lo locally build and test the application. Docker Compose installation, I'll briefly go over as part of the required module, but uh, understanding is you would have set it up and even tools such as command line or VS code, I'll briefly touch. But again, the scope is that you could set it up on your own because there are a lot of documentation already available. First, you will clone a sample application from AKS store demo, which is part of the Azure samples. We will create a container image from sample application source and we are going to test the multi-container application in the local Docker environment. And once completed, we should see the web screen. This tutorial will assume we have a basic understanding of core Docker concepts, such as containers, container images, and Docker commands. To complete this tutorial, you should need a local Docker and development environment running Linux containers. You can easily do that by going to Docker, searching it up, and installing locally. That installation is not part of this video, otherwise it'll be a very, very basic and a very lengthy video. This is the URL that you clone it on your local machine. And after that, you can open a command prompt and we can get started from there. You could use tools such as GitHub Desktop to clone the particular repository. So I have cloned it already at my system. Once you have cloned, you can open the repository in your VS code and you could review the Docker Compose. Check this setting out because this is what is going to be used for Docker. Change the required ports if needed. I will just change this to be because there are other applications running on 3000 because we do a lot of uh, reactor development. So I'll just change it to be say 3003. And also you want to change it to 3002. So 3002, 3003 other you are ports that we are going to be using. Check if you have Docker running. And for Docker, you could also use Docker Desktop, run Docker Compose, and provide the quick start YAML with the, these particular options. This will take some time because it's creating the container image. And we'll resume once this is created. So now the container image is created. We could view the created image by running Docker Images. And this is what your Docker image should show up over here. These are the images that we just created. We could view running containers using the Docker PS command. This, this is the output that shows the running containers. Now, if you run ETAT, you will see your website up and running. Next steps, we will create the container registry in Azure and we will push the image. Azure container registry is a private container registry that will allow you to securely build and deploy your applications and custom code. In this step, you will be creating an ACR instance use ACR tasks and view images. You will go back to our command line and this requires is easy CLI. Preferably you should have the latest version 270, which is pretty much the latest one. This is the command that we use to create a resource group. And I gave the arena RG with location East US. You could just follow these commands and see if the resource group created. You could come to the portal, search for resource group. This is the resource group created, which is in East US. It's sitting in subscription two. We are going to run AZ, ACR, create. You could just give the name, choose the SKU as basic. So this create the, the container registry. The registry cannot contain dashes. This output it provides that the registry is created. So now we will build and push the container images to registry. 
This is the command for using the registry agent to create this particular image and push it to the registry. It will take some time because you will be uploading from your machine to Azure. As I open three terminals just to expedite the pushing of the images to the re repository and all these three are done. So now let's see if the status of the image is in the repository. So this is the command that I could run. This is what I will see as the output of the, the registry. So now what we will do is we will create the Kubernetes cluster. Kubernetes, it provides a distributed platform for containerized application. And with AKS, which is Azure Kubernetes service, you can quickly create a production ready Kubernetes cluster. First, we will need to have the CLI set up and use the latest version. Okay, so come to the command prompt and install the AKS CLI. This is the command that you could use to do the installation. We will create a three node cluster to ensure your cluster operates reliably. You should run at least two nodes. A minimum of three nodes is required to use Azure Container Storage. And if you get an error when trying to create the cluster, then you might need to re request a quota increase for your Azure subscription or try a different Azure region. Alternatively, you can emit the node VM size parameter to use the default VM size. So I'll use this AKS create. I'll use the resource group and I'll give my AKS cluster and node count. I'll give us three node VM size, give it standard. You could say generate SSH keys and attach the ACR that we had created. So this is we see we don't get this uh, option. So I could just go with the B2. So let me just run my command. We get a quota exception to increase the quota. Come to the portal, choose your instance that you want to use to increase the quota, choose the subscription, choose the required region. The earlier limit was 10. And I put a new limit of 32 and also do change this to be instead of 30, make it to be 60 because we will be needing an extended quota. And let's submit. And this will take some time. We'll come back once the quota is increased. Okay. So now we can see the new limit is 60 that we need for our cluster. I believe the quota should, should be now resolved. So let's give it some time for the cluster to be created. Okay. So now this cluster is created. It did take five to 10 minutes, but you see the AAD role propagation is done. So with the cluster created, we can deploy an application to the Kubernetes service. First, we will get the login server address. This is the command that we could use. And all this information is going to be there in the blog as well. So you could check out all the steps that I'm putting over here. So you get the easy ACR login and now go to our VS code, replace the quick start manifest file, replace this path with the URL that we have and replace it like this, because there are three entries. This is one, the other one, and then this, you can save this file. And now we have to run the application. So this is the file I need to run. This is the output where you see the resources are successfully created. Now we could check the deployment is successful. kubectl get pods. So you see the status one is initializing and the other one is running. Let's wait for this to initialize. We can see all pods are running. With the pods running, we can monitor progress using the kubectl get service command. kubectl get service storefront. Now the service is running and available on the external IP address. Now we can go to the browser and check out if this application is running. I opened in a new tab and you see my application is running using the URL. You can navigate to the Azure portal as well. And we can see the Azure cluster under Kubernetes resources and under services and ingress. You can also get the IP address. So this was a quick demo on how you can set up Kubernetes application. Now we need to clean up the resources because we don't want them lying around and incur additional cost. Come to the portal, click on these options and lead the resources individually just to have peace of mind that I don't incur additional costs. Copy it, delete. And it is deleting your resources. Once this is done, if you go back to the repository, hit the delete button, you say yes, it will delete. And once this is done, click delete resource group. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you understand and set up Kubernetes. So please like, subscribe, share our channel, check out our other videos with regards to containers and AWS and Azure and cloud. And if you have any cloud computing requirement or any of your customers have a requirement, please reach out to us, subscribe to our newsletter, Check out our product cloudmysite.com. It provides a web design builder, hosting, 
that you can share with your friends and customers all at cloud with high availability. Thank you and have a good day.